This kind of project is exactly what it is that we intended to do, which is to take local materials with local labor and build homes right back in the community with material that came right out of the community. I think it's important because it closes the cycle. Whenever we can keep our dollars at home, as opposed to spreading them out, I think that's a good thing. 150 years ago, and for the bulk of time before that, as we know it, that's what people did. And that's the philosophy that we're trying to talk about. We're using English tying joints in this frame, which are um, fairly time-consuming joints, but really, you know, beautiful joinery. Up the top here, and this part here is the flare and creates what we call a jowl. Uh, traditionally, these were made from uh, the butt swell of a tree. A tree would be felled and it would be sliced and then it would be turned upside down and you have this butt swell on the tree so the grain is actually running out to form that jowl uh, and then this uh, joint would be cut from that butt swell. It's one that takes a fair bit of time to lay out and cut and ends up building a really strong durable structure. The earliest I've seen this joint is uh, in a 13th century barn that's built by the Knights Templar. Um, and both of those barns utilize this joint on a much larger scale than this now. Well, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see him start raising some walls here and get these bents up and see what it's gonna look like. And I know I took and sunk some uh, two foot big chunks of ash into the foundation to help support what they're gonna do. And, you know, just picking those things up, you know, 100 pound chunks of wood, you know, when they start erecting this thing, this house is gonna get massive in a minute. They'll have a great room, a kitchen, a loft, and a outside porch with this structure. And then they've got multiple bedrooms uh, in the conventional home. This is a good compromise between building a full timber building, the cost of building a full timber building, and building the core as a timber frame structure. I think this structure should be here 400 years from now. A thousand years is not out of the question if we do it right, which is what this is all about. And it's not just about us doing it right, it's like it's about trying to get everybody else to do it right. The roofer, the foundation guy. You know, those are the other two critical things. It's gonna be a, gonna be a real neat, interesting project. Uh, overall, you know, it's, it's gone pretty well. Our philosophy has always been that whatever it is that we build it needs to outlast the thing that produced it. But the more educated labor and skilled labor you put into the front of anything that you produce, the better the outcome. And I think that that's the case, that's the case here.